Hey everyone, this is Glamazon1026 and welcome to the Glam Room. We are going to be continuing our Back to Basics series with complexion work, aka highlight, contour, foundation, the works. If eyebrows are the most important part of your face, your complexion work is second. So if you would like to see how to get a flawless base for any makeup application, please stay tuned. start this off with my Crazy Essentials Rose Water Face Mist. I'm not going to put on a lot, just enough to hydrate my skin because I'm about to add a lot of layers of makeup. In order to make sure that this base is flawless, I'm going to be using my Milk Makeup Blur Stick to get these pores out of here. I don't want to see no pores. I'm just gonna pat that in, just press it everywhere. I'm going to put on my Basha Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer just in my T-zone because I feel like every time I wear makeup for an extended amount of time, I get oily right in here. Not oily, just like I glisten. I don't like to glisten. So I'm going to put this down. You only need a little bit right under my eyes, on my forehead, around my nose, and on my chin. And I'm just going to press that in. You wanna make sure you don't rub because it will ball up on you. It's just not good. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna do the Jackie Ina trick. Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Setting Powder, Beauty Blender right into those pores. I want to make sure that this foundation lays on my skin. I'm going to spray my face again with the Crazy Essentials Rose Water just to take away any excess powder that may have been left behind. I'm going to take my Lancome Tanti Do in 460W. I'm going to apply that to the back of my hand in order for it to warm up. By the time I'm ready to put this on my face, it's going to react with my skin's chemistry and it's going to be the perfect color for me. While we're waiting for my foundation to warm up, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Concealer Wheel in Dark and use a concealer brush, dip it into that orange for some color correction. I'm going to blend that out with my Morph M334 brush. I'm applying my foundation to my face section by section because it's easier for me to blend out. And I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Face Buffer brush in order to do that. This is my Holy Grail foundation. I will always buy it as expensive as it is. That's good. I'm gonna spot check anywhere I feel I need extra coverage with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in the shade Deep. Just like I did with my foundation, I'm putting it on the back of my hand for ease of application. I usually go over my smile lines with this just so that I don't get creases right in here at the end of the day. This concealer is waterproof too, so it's not going anywhere. gonna buff that into my skin with that Makeup Geek foundation brush. I'm going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chestnut and my MAC 195 brush. I'm going to use this as my concealer highlight. I'm going to bring my highlight downwards instead of across my face because I want my face to look longer and not wider. These three lines are going to help emphasize my cupid's bow.
For contour, I'm going to be using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Suede Mocha, along with my chiseled cheek brush from Makeup Geek. A good rule of thumb for your contour is to not let it get past the arch of your eyebrows. If it goes too far down, then you're going to end up looking very muddy. We don't want that, so keep it right in line with the arch of your brow. I'm going to take this chisel cheek brush to blend out my contour and I'm going to just be using short upward strokes to do that. If you blend it down or blend like this, you'll end up looking very muddy. We want a really nice sharp cheek contour. It's going to give us bone structure. I don't really need that, thank you daddy. But um, it's going to give everybody really, really great bone structure. Our cheekbones are going to be sharp enough to cut these holes. And that's what we want, okay? So you want to blend your cheek up, blend your jawline down, because if you're like me and you like chocolate chip cookies, you ate a little bit too much. We are trying to make this neck and chin extra slender. your forehead down but make sure that you are going into that hairline because god forbid a strong wind come and blow your wig back then everybody's gonna see that you two different tones we don't want that and no my edges are not laid because i forgot they'll be all right in order to get a really sharp nose contour you're going to do the same thing that you did with your cheek you're going to start at the base of your nose and blend upward this line that we put of concealer it's going to make it nice and straight creating a shadow in your nose. So if you are like me, when you love your Negro nose with Jackson 5 nostrils, but you want it to look a little snatched, we got that coming. Me and Beyonce, cause we both love our Negro nose with Jackson 5 nostrils. But sometimes you just need it to look, you know? To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water along with my Morph M334 brush. Just spray a little bit on there to get it nice and wet. And then we're going to take this and blend your concealer out. Remember I said I was taking it down because I don't need my face to be any wider than it actually is. This is what I call the preliminary blend. Everything is blended, but they're not blended together. Switch back and forth between the brush that you use to blend your highlight and the brush that you use to blend your contour. This ensures that everything is seamless and there are no transition lines. You will not be able to tell where one ends and where the other begins. If you find that you're having a hard time marrying the two shades, you can use the back of your same beauty blender and just go over the line of demarcation. We want that line to be gone. Make sure you don't pat your beauty blender because you don't want any product to be picked up. Just want to roll it. We're ready to set the face. I'm using my Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Setting Powder to go under my eyes. And since I have a fold, like a natural fold under my eyes, I like to pull my skin down. This is pretty, it's gonna look really weird. I'm gonna pull my skin down in order to blend that line out. So I'm gonna blend that out with my Morph M334 brush. And I'm just gonna take this little fluffy powder brush while I'm looking down to set under my eye. Now, even though my eye folds, there will be no crease in my makeup. I'm just going to put this powder everywhere that I put that highlighter, that concealer. And not a lot. I usually don't bake because who has time for that? Then I use my Queen Cosmetics Luxury Setting Powder in Caramel to set the rest of my face. Everywhere the highlighter wasn't. The thing I like most about both of these powders is that no matter how much you use, there is zero flashback. For extra insurance, I'm going to use my NYX No Filter Powder over my whole face, just to blend everything nicely together. 
I'm gonna use my Crazy Essentials Rose Water again just to make sure that everything melts into my face. I'm gonna take this Black Radiance Artesian Baked Blush in the color Toasted Almond to use, I'm gonna use this as a bronzer. And I'm just going to add color back into my face. Bronzer will warm your face up while contour will give you shadows. Contour takes away, bronzer will just give you that color. These contours are usually ashy. Next up is my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Kit in medium to deep. I'm going to take this middle sculpting color on this flat, densely packed brush. I'm going to put it everywhere that I highlight it. Using this angle brush, I'm going to dip into the contour section, and you really don't need a lot because it's very, very pigmented. And I'm going to start with small brush-like strokes going backwards into the hairline, just to make that contour really deep. Remember I said our cheekbones are going to be sharp enough to cut these holes, right? This is how we get it. Remember, never blend down, blend up. Then we're gonna take whatever's left and go around the hairline under our chin and jawline and down the sides of our nose. If you need to, you can go back in with your Beauty Bakery setting powder right under your contour to make sure that line is super sharp. We're finishing off the face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Berry Adore. And today I'm going to be using the color Velvet. Last but not least, we're going to be using this Makeup Geek highlight in the color Ablaze to just touch on the high points of my face. I'm setting my face with the Ben Nye Final Seal. It would be great if you could see what the name was, right? So I'm setting my face with the Ben Nye Final Seal. If you put this on, believe me, your face will last from now until when Jesus comes. Your makeup is not moving, it's not budging until you want it to move or budge. It smells terrible, but your makeup will stay. And there you have it. Your eyebrows are great. Your base is flawless. You can either stop here, put on some lip gloss, and head out the door, or you can continue on with eyeshadow. I will be doing my eyeshadow series in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be starting with breakdowns of brushes, colors that you can use for transitions, and how to get the perfect blend. If you would love to see those videos, make sure you comment below, like this video, subscribe, and hit the little notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading. Please do not forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. My name is Glamazon1026, at Glamazon1026, and I'm always there to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.